So I've done another round of research and come up with these drawings to show the color pattern and surface detail based on a review of the few decent photos of Cellute 7 on orbit. And um, this will allow me to, for example, go through here. So this is the top and here's the top view and there's a lot of um, EVA handles and antennas that will be added later. So looks like there's, let me see here. There's a couple little things here, so that can stay. This is the engines. Um, yeah, these don't really exist, but I can maybe leave them in just to add some texture. Um, what about the bottom? Um, I'll have to, big thing is gonna be to uh, add this uh, square portal here for this uh, big earth sensor. I think it's an earth sensor and some of the uh, other features like this doesn't exist at all. I think I'll leave some of these, uh, but I think I'm gonna get rid of that. But these I can leave on. I know there's a, oh, here's the bottom. Yeah, these I think, I don't know. There's EVA handles there, maybe I'll just leave them. It's too much trouble. Um, there's no hatch on the bottom. There's a round feature, maybe I'll leave it and add this, but I gotta add this big round feature here. And um, the rest of it's paint, so we're close. And a lot of the little things here we can add on. Um, you know, work on the, the front end as we go, go further. Still trying to figure that out. So that's kind of where we are, trying to remove what's not there, add what needs to be there. And um, it's a slow process. because I use this um, template here to cut a circle. It turned out to be 5 eighths. Cut a piece of tape, put tape on here. And I'll scribe the pattern, transfer it to the model. I'm guessing this tape isn't gonna give me the results I want. Just uh, scribing on that, it's gonna be really light, any kind of pattern. And so um, that's putty, so that's gonna be soft. So what I did is I cut out a very thin piece of styrene. And I think if I put that on here, I may get better results that'll give it me more of a uh, dynamic like that is. So I think I'm going to go with this. So here's the results. Got that um, aperture or circle on the bottom. Needs a little more cleanup, but I think that'll work. And on the other side, there's two little ports here. I think they're windows. And what I did is I just drilled them out and then sliced a bit of a uh, sprue the same size and put it in so it's slightly indented. I initially thought of like trying to carve that out, but that got to be too much trouble. I think this is, makes a nice effect. It's just a slightly depressed uh, port there. I think they're windows. So uh, from pretty close, I scribed some lines here. That's gonna be the top of the pattern. Um, you can see down here. So this is the bottom. And um, there's a couple of raised features. I'll be adding those and um, slowly coming along. I just added these little, not sure what they are, little protrusions here, maybe some kind of sensor or antenna housing. Just made that out of a, a little bit of this, uh, just use this square styrene strip. Use it for a lot of things. It's uh, looks like about uh, 330 seconds, four, five thirty seconds. Anyway, it's tiny. But it uh, cut it to shape and you got little antenna bumpies on there. And I'm gonna do a few more things like that here in a bit. So you notice there's uh, these thruster packs on the side here. Uh, they really have six, I think, uh, but there's four here. So I'm just gonna go with four. Uh, it's a model. Uh, and these where the joint is, and that's clean enough. Uh, I have to add some mo a little nozzles. So, at this scale, it's just gonna be a little bit of a, a styrene rod sliced and glued up. So proceed to do that. Looking more and more at pictures of the bottom, I've decided that these uh, rectangular features in the whole circle thing is more like a hatch. So I took the part that I cut out, made it a little smaller and uh, cut those rectangular holes out. And I've decided that this whole thing is going to be um, covered in a foil kind of a thing. I'm not sure what color. It's like a light gold, silvery thing. 
And so then we'll get, I might smooth this out. So that would get glued on here. And then the whole thing will get covered in embossed in foil. And I think that'll look a little better. So that's my new plan.